मिस्टर जी बधाई हो लड़का हुआ है अरे मैं कितना खुश हुआ आज बेटा कल से तेरा जेई प्रेप चालू है अरे अरे रो मत बेटा सत्रह साल का हो जाएगा तब तक सिलेबस कंप्लीट हो जाएगा बाकी बच्चों के आगे रहेगा वाह सर आप तो बहुत स्मार्ट हैं हाँ ये आइडिया तो किसी को नहीं आया होगा जी हाँ बिल्कुल नहीं Every year, almost 10 lakh Indian students write the IIT JE exams. Just one percent of them get a seat in an IIT, and the rest, 99 percent of them, are deemed failure by the system. Some of them go through their whole lives believing that they are a failure just because they could not get the desired rank in these exams. The important question here is: Does passing the JE exam guarantee success? Are JEs accurate in measuring a student's potential? Let's find out. To begin with, I want to take you back in time, starting with how this whole system came into place. So, India was the first IIT, that's IIT Kharagpur, in 1951, and until 1961, students were admitted based on their board exam results, followed by an interview. In 1961, thanks to the Indian Institute of Technology Act, IITs could grant degrees, and the first IIT JE exam was conducted, the equivalent of today's JE Advanced Exam. 19,500 students registered for this exam. In 2000, this number grew to 1,28,624 students because of IIT's brands becoming global, and every Indian engineering student wanted that IIT brand. IIT stood for upward social mobility within the masses. This was a boon and a bane because these one lakh students were betting 12 years of their education on six hours in an examination hall. So between 2000 and 2005, an additional screening test was added to reduce the pressure on the main exam by allowing only about 20,000. Out of 4.5 lakh candidates to take the examination in 2013, the AIEEE's another engineering entrance exam established in 2002 for non-IIT colleges like NITs, IIITs. This exam was renamed to today's JEE Mains, and once again, we're in a similar situation as we were in 2000s. Now it's 10 lakh Indian students betting their 12 years of education on this one single exam. Now a very important thing to note for parents here is that this. is a completely different situation compared to their time in school the amount of students competing for je has literally 5x in the last 20 years most of the students view these exams like je or neat as make or break moments when the truth is that these are literally just 17 to 18 year olds who have rest of their lives ahead of them i remember when i had to sit for the je exam and the sheer anxiety i went through thinking that the next few hours are going to define the whole trajectory of my life when they actually turned out to be irrelevant see I'm not refuting that getting into top engineering colleges or IITs is not valuable. It hundred percent is. What I am trying to say is, it is not the only option. That one rank does not define your lifelong value. This exam system has become a catalyst for social mobility because the tests offer the hope of a better future. But what if I tell you that you can have that bright future even without JEE? The opportunities available on the internet are plenty, and it is time that JEE. Loses its hold it has on students. You know, we literally have four college dropouts in our team at AV doing really, really well for themselves. They also gave the JEs. Most of them from middle class families hailing from tier two towns, but they figured it out. There are so many options out there. I just want to tell you that you will also figure it out. If you got a good rank at JEE, congratulations. But for lakhs of students who did not, I don't want any of you to face this crippling pressure that JEE brings. I want to help, so I have decided to sponsor 100% fees of a student in one of the top upcoming computer science colleges in the country. So, if you're someone who wants to be an engineer but couldn't get a good rank, we will help you. Stick around till the end to find out how you can get this scholarship. Okay, now back to JEE. So, JEE mains are a challenging exam and help filter out some candidates for JEE advance. Understood. Another thing to question here is. What if your goal is to become a software engineer? Now, look at the syllabus of JEE mains. More than two thirds of the syllabus is not relevant to software engineers. I mean, what does the knowledge of organic chemistry, surface chemistry, have to do with building softwares? Why should I have to sit and spend so much time studying these subjects when they are absolutely irrelevant? These standardized exams are not accurate evaluation methods and truly don't hold as much real world value. You know what the majority of people benefiting from these exams? It's the coaching class industry. 
According to the print, the current market of coaching class industry is 58,088 crores and ITJ coaching class market itself is 10,000 crores. That is insane. A significant portion of it is in Rajasthan's Kota, a city infamous for its coaching centers. Parents and students take up rented accommodation so they have access to these coaching centers. Kota is becoming famous for another thing which is student suicides. Eight students in Kota have already taken their lives in 2023 and this needs to change. Honestly, according to sources, in the last 15 to 20 years, even the IIT brand itself is slowly eroding because of these entrance exams. The IITs have become victim of road learning because of these coaching classes and this is not my opinion, it's ex-IITN in Infosys founder Narayan Murthy's. If we don't curb this fanaticism around exams in India, rote learning will become more prominent among students of future generations as well. I repeat myself again, it is completely fine if you don't get XYZ rank and couldn't get into the college of your choice, it is not the end of the world. IITs are not the only way to become successful in the tech field, there are many other ways. In fact, there are many tech founders who are not IITians and yet are well known and respected in this community. Now let me share some alternate solutions for you. If you're somebody who couldn't get a rank you wanted in JE but are still passionate about engineering. First is BITSAT. It's an entrance exam for BITS colleges. The advantage of BITSAT over JE is that the syllabus is based on the NCERT curriculum of class 11th and 12th, so the student doesn't have to study for it separately. BITSAT also tests your English proficiency and logical reasoning skill, which are important skills to have for software engineers. BITS also has no compulsory attendance policy and their deferred placement policy lets startup founders appear for placement one or two years later after the graduation. Secondly, you can also pursue a foreign degree if your financial situation allows it by taking up exams like SAT, which evaluate you on evidence-based reading, writing and language skills, and of course, math skills. Students who have skills and achievements outside of academics will find the admissions in universities abroad have a more holistic process considering not just test scores, but they also look at your extracurricular activities. This is an alternative, but a really expensive one. So only and only if you can get financial aid, I suggest you try this. The third solution here is a very unique college right here in India called Scalar School of Technology. This college is inspired by how MBBS students learn from experienced doctors in practical ways. At Scalar School of Tech, all the teaching is done by industry professionals from Google, Microsoft, Amazon, etc. Every student also receives one-on-one -on -one mentoring with these professionals and also gets to interact with people like Kunal Shah and Rajan Anandan. So they've recently started a four-year residential undergraduate program in Bangalore and they are selecting 200 students from across India for this. We believe that colleges like Scalar School of Technology will produce the next Satya Nadella and Sundar Pichai of the world who will go on to build for India in India itself. So to support these engineers, I have launched a scholarship to fund 100% of the tuition fee for one student who gets selected for the college. All you need to do is register for the entrance exam called Scalar National Scholarship and Entrance Test, NSET. There's also a video on how to prepare for the test on their website. And if you do well on the test and interview, you can get this scholarship, which AV will be personally funding. And don't worry, their entrance test, unlike JE, is designed to test for fundamentals like mathematics, logic, learnability, and English. And the last alternative is the internet, the greatest teacher. There are literally so many free resources, opportunities on multiple platforms on the internet everywhere. If you can show some proof of work, some personal projects that you have worked on, build a personal brand on Twitter or LinkedIn, this itself will open a lot of doors for you. All you need is a little conviction in yourself to go for it. Well, that's all for today's video. I wish you best of luck. I am Achina Maya and for content like this, subscribe to AVTV.